Hello, everyone. Welcome to Remote Sensing Image Process class. Nice to meet you. Before the class begins, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Ya Zhen Jiang. You can call me Ya Zhen or Jennifer. This is my telephone number, and this is my email. At first, let us review the previous classes you have learned. In the previous classes given by Professor Jiang and Doctor Fan, you have learned remote sensing overview, introduction to NV, image display and management, image geometry correction. Emit special subset. From this class, I will give you five classes about emit registration workflow, emit author rectification, emit mosaicing, emit fusion, and two kinds of work. Classification. There are image supervised classification, image unsupervised classification, and the posture classification. At last, I will give you something about bed mass. In this class, we will know something about image registration workflow. About registration, you have learned a four kinds of methods for geometric correction, right? These methods usually require manual selection of control points by you. In this class, we will learn a method about registration workflow. What is workflow? Uh, it's like this: algorithm about control point selection and so on are stored in computers. We only need to do process according the workflow. Step by step. Uh, in this class, we will use the emit registration workflow in different scenarios to geometrically apply to overlapping emits with different view geometry and different terrain distortions into the same coordinate system. In order to corresponding pixels represent the same objects, in the following steps, we will perform image registration by selecting basin and um, select basin and. Warp images and send parameters. And review generated tie points. And Output the result. Okay, these are the general introductions about image registration workflow. Now, let's start two exercises 
about image registration workflow. In the two exercises, we will use two pairs of files. A pair of files with the same resolution but different image time. The resolution uh, 2.5 meter. Another pair of files are full color and multi spectral files. They have different resolutions but the same emitting time. The resolution of multi spectral image is 6.8 meter and the resolution of the full color image is 2.1 meter. They have the same emitting time. Okay, now let's begin the first exercise. Emit registration with the same resolution data. At first, we need to start NV. Follow me, please. From the start all programs. From the NV icon. It's here. Click it. And then from the NVMe menu bar, from the file, open, select it, and navigate to the file folder I give you. It's linked with remote sensing image process. Add with the date of today. Click it. From the image registration workflow. Click it. And from the following data file folder. Click it. And Find the spot file folder. Click it. Select the 01B and 02B init. Click open. The two files are opened. Of course, you can file them separately from the file open. Click 01B and click open. After it, select 02B and click open. Now, the two files appear in front of us and we can use the zoom to full extent to view the full extent of the two files. And now, select the portal tool in the toolbar. The portal tool is here. 
click it and now we use the pale tool to zoom to zoom the two files to a certain extent we will find that there is a certain deviation between the two files like this we can find we can find the deviation between them and now in the layer manager click the portal file right click the file use the remove we can remove the portal file okay now let's begin the emit registration workflow from the toolbox we can find geometry correction and click the place icon we can find the registration icon in the drop down list we can find the emit registration workflow double click it the file selection panel appears in the init registration file selection panel we need to select the two input files there is a browse icon next to the base image file click it select the 01 emit as the base emit file after click it click ok so we use the 01 emit as a base emit file as a summary we can find the browse icon next to the warp image file click browse we select 02 image file as a warp image and then click ok And then click the next in the bottom of the panel. Click the next. We can find the 
Time port, time port generation panel appears. The time point generation panel is a panel we can set the parameters for automatic time point generation. Under the conditions that both the image have poor or no georeferencing, we need to create state type points. If only one image has poor georeferencing and the other image doesn't, we can use the image with good georeferencing as the base image. If the WAMP image is pixeled based, we need to add or import at least three state type points before we continue. For this step, uh, we keep the default parameter setting on the main and advanced table. We will use the set type points temp because the data used in this exercise has good georeferencing. We don't need to create state time points. Now I will introduce the detailed information about mean and advanced. In the main table, There are two items, alter time point generation and alter time point fitting. In the alter time point generation, there is a match method. It's the method used for time point generation. There are two selections. The first one is cross correlation. It's used for the general format and used for the image of the same format, such as optical image. The second one is mutual information. This one is used for image of different format such as optical to reader image, thermal infrared image to visible image. In this exercise, the two images are all above sport image, so we use the first one, cross correlation. The second item is alter type point fitting. The first one is the minimum matching score. The computer uh, in the computer, the automatic point funding method will calculate a score for the fun point. The higher the score we give, the higher the accuracy is. And the shared range of this value is from 0 to 1. 
Of course, you can change it to higher in order to get a better accuracy. The second item for the tie point fitting. The geometric model for tie point filtering. There are two models. The first one is filtering global transform model. The second one is frame central projection. For the first one, there are two parameters need to be set. The first one is transform. There are first order polynomial transform and RST transform. The second parameter, maximum allowable error per type point. The latter the value is more type point are retained and the accuracy will be poor. So for simply the larger the value is, the accuracy is poor. It's different from this minimum matching score. If we choose the second geometric model, frame center projection, we don't need to and any parameters. The filtering globe transform model suitable for most emits. And the frame central projection only stood for error emit project and the center of the frame because the image in this exercise are two spot images we use the first one okay now for the advanced item in this item we can select matching bed for base image and warp image and we can give the request number of tie points and we can set the search window for generate state tie points and we can set the matching width size that give the interesting operator. In this exercise, we can keep the default setting of these items. And now, click next. Now we can find that review and the warp panel. In this panel, we need to review time points and the warp image. We can find the registration workflow, generate 16 
seven time points. Click the zoom to full extent. We can find the view, the image is populated with time points in the overlapping area of the base and warp images. The tie points in the base image are pink and click the switch to warp button in the review and warp panel. We can see the corresponding time points for the warp image. We can find the color of these time points are green. And when we click switch to base, we will find the base image and the time points in the base image. In the review and warp panel, when we click show table, we can open the time points attribute table. This table lists details for all of the generated time points, such as the location, of the time points on the base and the warp image and the score for these time points at the area. We can find the X and the Y for base location and X and Y for warp image location. The total root root mean square is short for RMS is displayed at the bottom of the table. We can find the RMS error. For this this exercise is 1.200312. The score is from error based auto type point generation. And it depending on the matching method we choose. The arrow we remember that high areas indicate bad tie points. or in appropriate geometric model. We can find the Five icons these four 
echoes have the same function as the keyboard keys. The first one, when we click it, it will locate the first point and the last icon when we clicked it. It locate the last point. At this one, when we click it, it will go to the previous type point and this one it will go to the following record you can click it When we select the item, it will in front of the window. It will in the middle of the window. For example, if we click 64 point, the point ID is 64. The 64 point will appear in the middle of the window screen. Now we go to the first item and right click the arrow the three top list items we select sort by selected column rewards Click it and we can find it. We can find that the arrow react from the largest to the smallest. We click the attribute of the type point it will in it will appear in the window in the screen we delete we delete this one use this icon we delete the high point with the largest area and the second largest area third largest area until until the RMS is more than one
we think. These tie points have enough attribute,、uh, enough anchors, and then click loops. We found the sixteen tie points. And now we click warping. We give the warping method to the polynomial, and use the cubic convolution resampling method. I think you have learned. These three kinds of resamp resampling method. The general resamp method, and the widely used resamp method, nearest labor resampling method, binomial resamp resampling method, cubic convolution resampling method. And we here we use cubic convolution method, and give a give the background value. We give it zero, and give the output extent. This one is the full extent of warp emit. It will give the full warp emit. And if you choose the overlapping area only, it will give you the overlapping area. Here we use the full extent of warp, warp area, and the up output pixel size from base mid or warp mid. In this exercise. Base mid and warp mid, both base mid and warp mid are okay because they have the same pixel size. Okay, now after this setting, click next. And now we need to export, save, export, and save the results. You can choose the image file format. You can choose NV or TIFF. And here. Browse a pass file. For example, we save it here, and give it a name. And、the second one is export time point. If you need to time point information, you can export and save the time point to ask file and give it a test lab. If you don't need it, you can click this, leave it black, and click finish.
Now, let us remove the orange zero to the warp emit. Remove it. And here, there is the base image and the warped emit. The emit after correcting. As a same way, we click the portal tool. And we found the distortion disappeared, right? So the emit registration workflow give us a warped emit with correct information. Okay, now the first exercise for the emit registration workflow is finished. Okay, now let's close all the files by click date menu and click the Close all files and in the NV question, click yes. And click the data menu. Okay, now let's begin the Second exercise. Yeah. Emit registration with different resolutions. As we mentioned before, we will use a four color file and a multi spectral file. They have different resolutions but have same emitting time. Now let's begin. As the as same as the first exercise in the only main menu from the file open in the emit registration workflow. Data, we can find a four color and multi spectral file file data five folder. Click it. And select the four color and multi Vector files. Click open. And the same way, by click zoom to full extent, we can view the full extent of the two emits. By use the portal tool,
we can find the division between the two images as the same way. In the name of the portal file, right click, remove it. Then, in the toolbox, in the drop-down list, we found the registration and found the image registration workflow. Double-click it. Click the Rules icon near the base image file in this net select four color file and the base image file and then click OK. The base image file is selected. And the same way, use the browse. Select the multi spectral file as the file need to be warped. And click OK. After select the base and the warp image at the bottom of the panel, click next. Wait until the time point generation panel appears. And in the main table, we use the Cross correlation method as the matching method and keep the default value as the minimum matching score and maximum allowable error per type point. As keep the default value in the advanced table. And click the next at the bottom of the panel. Read until the review and the warp panel appears, we can find the image registration workflow generate 92 type points and Click the zoom to full extent. We can find the pink type points in the base image. When click switch to warp, click switch to warp icon. We can find the Time points, they are green on the warp image. And click the show table menu, show table menu. 
the time points attribute table appears in front of us, and we can find the location, the x y location of the base image, and the x y location on the warp image at the score and the area. And when we click the item, when we click the attribute of the point of the time point, it will be in front of the in front of us and in the middle of the screen window. We can find them and in the item area by right click we select sort by selected column reverse we found the error wrapped from the error from the largest to the smallest and we delete the largest one and we found the root mean RMS error is small so we think it's it's enough. It's uh, we think the accuracy is enough and close click the close. The nineteen one time points remained, and by click next, go to the export and save the results. Here, we can select the output image file format and provide the, the path and give the name of the file. For example, we save it in the attempt and give it a name. Opt file. Click the open and export time point as ask file. Click finish. Wait. Until the warped file appear we remove the 
orange file. And keep the base file and the warped file in the near manage. Now use the zoom to full extent and select portal tool. Zoom in the to emit, we can find the deviation. Disappear. The second exercise is finished. And the file needs to be warped has high accuracy. Okay. After the exercises, we click the beta minute and select the close all files. Click the yes to close all files. The second exercise about image registration workflow is finished.